Oh my <laughs> gosh! Look at how big that is. Look how high they are, dude. This this baby. Ooh. Dude, 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 dude. <laughs> what? No. No. <laughs> what? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Welcome back. Oh yeah. Friends, to another episode of Learn With Us, where we find content that's worth your time, and... We learn from it with you. This is Mitch, and my name's Eli. And we're brothers. From I'm other heart. mothers. From other mothers. Okay, today, <laughs> we, uh... We are gonna watch some crazy nature footage, and Eli knows nothing about it. And so I'm not even gonna say what the title is to all of you, because you've seen the title of this video. The thumbnail. This is the type of stuff that... Like, watching nature stuff reminds you of how fantastic this planet is. Yes. That's what we want right and That's now. what we want. Okay. There, there's... Let the show begin. Okay. Oh, man. That's a big old wall. That's a big old wall. The rock that was used to build this dam contains essential minerals that have been dissolved in water. Minerals rich in the calcium that these animals need to stay strong. And they'll scale a dam to get them. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Two that's, things here. The straight wall. <laughs> Two things here. Yeah, straight wall, granite rock that's just like straight up and down. Yeah. Seeming almost. And how do the animals know that there's the secretion of those liquids on the rock that they need to survive? How, how, how do you figure that out? And then how do you consume that thing and then realize that you need it over and over again? That's just, I don't know. Yeah. That A mystery of nature for me. Makes you think about what bigger things even animals are connected to that have intelligence or, yeah. Or or the fact that it's like your it's like your innate drivers, your instincts are intelligent somehow. Yes, like yes. Instincts yes. keep you alive. Yes. How about the fact that instincts keep you alive? <sighs> Man. Like why yeah. don't we think of that as amazing? Yeah. That it's it's crazy. <laughs> and then you're like Eli and I have been getting into following intuition a lot lately mm. and listening to your gut above everything else. Because your gut is always going to be telling you the truth. But how? But how is that true? I just know that to be true now. But how? It's amazing. It's a mystery. Okay, here we go. Extrema, diciamo così, di rapidità, la possibilità di recare le sale è una tentazione fortissima. Without these salts and minerals, their bones won't grow. Their nervous systems and muscles can't function. Movement and coordination can falter. Oh my god. Io quando sono in situazioni molto ripide e guardo verso il basso e non sono di certo la cosa sta bene. Yeah, my fear of heights says no to this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's an easy start. There's a strong bond between mother and kid. And the kid will follow her wherever she goes. Okay, what that guy was saying, I, I think could be a bit of anthropomorphizing. Mm. Which is the act of putting human characteristics onto animal or non human, uh, things. human things. And so he wasn't necessarily putting human characteristics, but he was like, I think there was a lot of assumptions made. Of the calf following the mother? No, what of what part? the what the guy was saying about how like their need is so overwhelming that they're gonna oh. risk their lives to go up there because they have no other choice but to do that to survive. Like first of all, what would they do if the dam wasn't there? Yeah. Like they'd still survive if the dam wasn't there. Second of all, these animals have been known to scale unbelievably steep that's what they're made for mm. so it does this look like a death defying act to them yeah or is this just a human thing of like they're willing to risk it all just to like 
feed their bones. Yeah. Like that's could likely not be what's happening here, mm. you know? Yeah. Just Dang, wanted to dude. point that out. I'm looking at this thing's body and I'm like, how is this body how? designed to go straight up? Cause it, cause you look at a human body and you think that it could be like more flat on the, yeah. you know? And how does this body get so stuck to the edge of that, that it can like flat when it has like four legs and it's sticking out from the wall. Exactly. I don't know. Let's find out. I don't know. Yeah. Go see this in action. Smelling for salt. Dude, look at this. Oh, the analyzation, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh, dude. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Look at how big that is. Look <laughs> how high they are, dude. How, this, this baby. Dude, what? No, no. What? Okay, crazy thing for me was seeing their eyes analyzing the wall. Yeah. Oh my gosh, mapping out the best route. Like, think about that. That thing is noticing just these little things sticking out of the wall that it's gonna put a hoof on. Dude. Dude. Oh yeah, getting the salt. Wow. The Ibex eventually make it to the prize. Salt from the earth, <laughs> dissolved in water, continues on its journey into their bodies. The thing just jumped. Mm. Where it's used in the nerves and muscles that control dexterous pincer like hooves. What? Dude, it's bombing! It is bombing! How do you see. Vital ingredient. Dude! Carried around by a simple molecule with remarkable properties. Dang, man. Nature is amazing. One thing it makes me think about is uh, whenever I'm driving and yeah. there's like a squirrel that like cuts across the road uh -huh. and I kind of slow down, but then it, it does see me coming and books it back the other way. Mm. I'm like, this thing has learned that on this pavement, it needs to gun it across. Yeah. Or if there's something coming, it needs to gun it back. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, how do these animals learn that? Like, do they see right. their family members die? Or does that somehow get inherited Taught. and, like, yeah. passed down? Oh, my gosh. Because if they just didn't know that, there'd just be even more dead squirrels. Yeah. You know? It's surprising how few you see. Yeah. When you know every other time that I drive, I get into a spot where I'm like, squirrel, slow down a bit. True. Keep going. Yeah, wow. It's, like, all the time. Yeah. And you see a dead squirrel... Once every two weeks. Yeah. Dang. That's interesting. And just, just how smart they are. So smart. You know? So and, and incredibly smart. Wow. All right, folks. Did you enjoy it? Do you want us to watch more nature clips? We want to. If you got any ideas, send them our way. Yeah. As always, much love. Much love.